of it's Stelios from Batman Studios and happy Lego Mock Monday. In today's episode of Lego Mock Monday, I will be showing you guys my Lego fish tank mock that I created. So, um, yeah, let's look at all of the details. So, um, the main colour is white, like you see in a lot of my, um, Lego Mock Mondays. And you may have noticed it in my, um, Lego Mock monday of the um temple from last week but in case you're wondering why there is a red um piece here is because when i originally created it is that i mean oh i misspoke i mean when i originally created this mock i actually wanted it to have a play feature where you open the door you put your finger in and you can just take take out that glass so you can look at the inside but since i've done that we might as well do that so, um, as you can see, I did decide to make this a little bit, um, funny and add Spongebob in here. Now, this is the Spongebob from the, um, Spongebob Undersea Bikini Bottom set, which is the only Spongebob set I own, unfortunately. It's also sad because I actually really like the Spongebob Squarepants TV show. But, um, yeah, let's just get back into the mock. And we also have some, um, seaweed in the back. And we have some blue bricks for water. And I also made them um, this little future where um in order to make um this fish float, I got um two cylinder pieces in um trans light blue. And I got this normal blue one by two play with a hand or um well with a hand on one side for the um for holding stuff and then I put the fish in and then I just put it on and the funny thing is is that instead of um just seeing that um it um well even you can see that the cylinder pieces don't really show you you can just see them a little bit but um doesn't really um count uh look it looks like you can nearly see me but haha you're not gonna see me and um the roof is grey and um one of my favourite parts is the way of um how this door opens because I couldn't find that um one by two plate with that um handle on top that's um straight. I actually decided to use um this um one by two bracket piece with two studs on the side and it works perfectly for opening and closing this door and uh you know what i think i might as well show you how to build this but um if i run out of time then i'm, I'm just going to have to um, show you all how to um build it um well I'll, I'll do my best to be as fast as i possibly can I'm going to break it apart fast because I don't want this video to go very long as no one will come to watch a horribly long um, video. This may take a while, but um, yep. Um, this may take a little bit of time. But... So about um that um hawk in the um background, or at least I think it's a hawk. <laughs> I um can't help it. I, I don't um speak bird but um yeah, let's just get into it okay so first off you're gonna start with um this six by um 12 plate and then you're going to get um a six by four plate and put it on so like this 
Now I'm going to get two um, 3 by 2 plates and put them on like this. And a 1 by 2 tile on this side and a 1 by 2 tile on that side, just like this. And you are also going to um, need a lot of bricks for um, the um, back to make it look like the sea. You're going to need a 1 by 10 um, plate like this. Sorry about how fast I'm talking. I'm just trying to make this video um, fast. But, um, yep. And then you are going to get um, a 1 by 2 plate with a stud. I mean, you're going to get your 1 by 1 brick with a stud on one side. And I'm going to get a 1 by 2 plate and put it on like this. And then you're going to get um, a ton of 1 by 2 bricks. You just put them on like that. And then you're going to need... Um, I'm just a my memory of how to build this now, unfortunately. Uh, right, I think I might remember. And you're going to get a 1 by 8 brick and put it on like this. And then a 1 by 2 brick and put it on like this. You're also going to need um, to do the exact same thing over and over again. But on the top you just get a 1x6 brick and a 1x4 brick and um, I do apologise for speaking so fast, I um, just don't want this video to go too long. And then you just, um, pretty sure you put it on like this. I mean I don't know, I've lost my memory of how to build this. And then you um, just get a cylinder piece in trans blue and put um, a seaweed in it like this and then you get um this plate and um this vine piece and then you are going to put it on like this and then you are going to um get tons of um these bricks wait And then you're going to um, get three like that, and then you're going to put um, these bricks on. <coughs> and um, you're going to put Spongebob on like that. And um, you're going to put these frame pieces in. Oops. Um, sorry about that. But um, yeah, now you're just going to get two... Um, trans blue cylinder pieces and put them on like this and then you're going to put the fish on so it can float and then you just get the other frame piece and put it on like this and put on the glass pieces and they have to be blue so it looks like the sea and also these studs is if you ever want um a Lego minifigure to go in, you can just do it like that. But, um, yeah, and then you're just going to um, fill it in, and um, just put the pieces on, well, the rest of the pieces on, just like this. Sorry that I'm not naming them. It's just that um, I'm trying to keep this video short. And it doesn't go so long. And then you're just going to get some uh, one by six plates and put it on like this. And then you're going to um, get. Oh, wait. I think I've got some pieces stuck. On. But um, yep. And then you just put these pieces on pretty much like this. And then you put. Um, Sure it was on the other way. Oh boy. This video is going um quite long actually, but um you know what? I'm gonna stop rushing my talk and um I don't really care about um how long this video goes. Just um put it on
Um, I am sorry, guys. Um. Then you um just put on the roof like this. Okay, so um that was the um very rushy um speed buildish if you want to call it like that. But um yeah, I did try my best to keep this video um short, but I've just looked at the time and I have recorded for ten minutes and forty eight seconds. How is that good? You know what? I'm just gonna end this video here before it gets very long. So, thank you for watching this episode of Nagamok Monday, and I will see you all in the next Nagamok Monday. And, um, I am going to try to do, um, a video on the weekend, because I won't have school. But, um, yeah. So, bye-bye, and have a nice Monday.